Hello once again everyone and welcome to Baldur's Gate 3 the lore series. We are uh, outside of the city with all the refugees. We've had a chance to talk to many of them. To see... And uh, well, all the main situations in which they are. We talked to the girls as well. Um, and before anything... Uh, anything, I think... Wait. Where's this camp? Quite a spot, eh? Knocks the breath out of me to get up here. But the views are worth it. Ah, well. Dead chicken. Oh, still the dead chickens. What is this? Reflections of a gullible prick. Lol. Sometimes if you read these things, you can get missions, so... Now we can try and pick it up. But anyway, as I was saying, we're gonna have a lot of context today. The circus of the last days has returned. See Dryad's Gin and Dribbles the Clown back with a new act. Well, there is a lot of things going on in the city. And also, actually, here... Oh yeah, this, the couriers. I forgot how it was called. The messengers. We should have... Uh, we should go there, because remember Scratch, former owner... Uh, the oh wait, the it's the same thing. He was a messenger from Baldur's Gate. And I think we had a mission on that? I'm, I, I don't even remember. Who are you waving? Great headline. Sir, you need to You're a courier? Aren't you... I knew there was a story here. And there you are, the hero of the hour, walking right up to me. What? The name's Lens. Reporter with the Boulder's Mouth Gazette. Care to do a quick interview? What? People talking about me. What do you want with me? I'm here looking for my next angle. It's all the same. Oppression, famine, death. I need something new. Someone like you. It won't take more than two moments of your time. If you play your cards right, this could make the cover. I just need some extra details. So, you've arrived at Baldur's Gate. What's brought you here at a time like this? Uh, my intentions aren't fit to, uh, for printing, trust me. Uh. You're planning to indulge yourself in some of the darker corners of the city? No need to hide anything. We're all sinners by someone's yardstick. I imagine you've a need to let off some steam after your recent adventures in the Shadow Cursed Lands. How the fuck do you know that? tell me you recently vanquished the fearsome General Ketherick Thorn. How did you manage that? That happened two days ago. Who the fuck is your source? How in the hell do you know about that? I'm a journalist. It's my job to know everything. Unfortunately, the version I heard was light on the details. So what did you do to Ketherick? Oh, how the fuck do you know? It was his downfall, I was merely the catalyst, I ground his bones to dust, even his god could not save him. Yeah. We did kill the, uh, Merkel. Defying the gods themselves? I had no idea. Taking out one of the Absolute's generals was no mean feat. You must feel confident for the battles ahead. The cult's threat is far from extinguished. What's your plan of attack? Oh. Yeah, I hardly want my strategy prints all over the front pages. Perhaps it could inspire some like-minded citizens to help your cause. You must have some strategy in mind. Oh, I don't know. 
Yeah, we should probably not give any of that information. Don't worry. I already have everything I need. What? What the fuck? Oh. Look at it. Come crawling home. Hand stained with the bone and salt. And you carry his stone. Your purpose is clear as welts on an infant's skin. <laughs> you come for our nether stones next. I could end it now. But I'll be patient. Father will see us together again. He will see you bleed. Well, it's pretty obvious that I already knew that. So that she was shapeshifter. here. How long has she been watching? But it, it's still cool as fuck, isn't it? Still means death. So Stalemane uh, was the Duchess um, that the Emperor uh, worked with, if you guys remember. Bet you want to know all about Stalemane's murder? Hottest topic in Rivington. Apart from the March of the Absolute's Army, I suppose. Got today's edition of the Baldur's Mouth Gazette right here. You want one? I was actually more interested in the story about the Army of the Absolute. Do you have that one? Oh, that's all anyone ever wants to read about. I don't see what all the fuss is about. The Absolute isn't even a real name. Oh, well, it seems like you know a thing or two. Excellent. You enjoy that one, all right? It's really gory. Oh, look at that. Merchant's Guild declares magic item market saved by, uh, by adventurers. It was a ritualistic murder of the Stalemane Duke. Ah, okay. So, guys, the thing is, here in this temple, we're gonna come here, but if you, um, I had to remember you of this because it was a while ago. But, uh, when we were down into the Adamantine Forge, we met a, a spirit, a, a ghost, some, some sort of ghost monk. And if we were to carry the talisman that he gave us, or that we found, we would have him on our head, like an, a, a voice or a companion sort of thing. And he has to do something with this temple here. So we'll come to that. Just trying to, to give you a little reminder, because that was a while ago. In any case, what I'm interested in now is this, the careers, because this is where Scratch comes from, if I'm not mistaken. That would be... Oh! The well. Let's see if there is anything of interest in here. Okay. Uh, well, I meant to do this. Yeah. Murdered. Murdered refugee. Someone's bringing them here to kill them or something, or throwing corpses in here. Last warning. You're sticking your immigrator's nose in where it don't belong. You got a brain in your head. You'll stay in your filthy camp with the other absolute vagrant scum. Your girl didn't get that memo. You really don't want to know what happened to her. Now scram. Holy shit. Well, yeah. Something over there. 
In any case, there is not much here either way. Like over there, you you get out of here and you get to <clears throat> to the side of the city, and we'll probably explore all of that. But today we have things to see, so we won't we won't divert too much. Worry not, because they there will be. Um, a lot of diverting in this next chapter of ours. Uh, why is Scratch like... Ah. But yeah, it would be interesting now to see if there was like any mission you can see all the people everyone's talking about different things it's pretty cool quite frankly it's dog color when will i get to train the dogs again miss Mafia? oh what uh, what uh, hi what? Harsh Taskmaster. What? Yeah, I'm caring for the courier dogs. Mahi is my boss. She's mean, but Dad says she'll toughen me up. Wait, she does? She's not... The more it bites back, she's... Uh, she's mistreating the dogs. Huh. She's an educator. She says if somebody doesn't listen, shout louder. And if they still don't listen, fetch the rod. Dringo, get back to work. And you, what do you want? Oh, you're this dead. Is a private yard. Oh, I don't give a shit. It's the only way to teach him. He behaves worse than the dogs and makes more of a mess. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> Scratch! Oh, it's good to see you, boy! Shut up, Dringo, and get back to work. And you've been slacking as well, Scratch my boy. Oh no. This dog is property of Sword Coast Couriers. I'll take him off your hands now. Oh no, 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 she's dead. She's... You shouldn't raise your hand, uh, your hand to him like that. I can do whatever I please. He's my dog. Oh, you're so now dead. get out. This is a private yard. I'll play the yellow time, I don't give a shit. I'll break every bone in your body before I let you hurt the dog. I don't need to read anything else. You. You'll do no such thing. It's not just Scratch. She's always hurting the dogs. Shut your mouth, Dringo. Last warning. I'll give you the count of 10 to leave the, these kennels. Oh, it's a 20. Oof. Fine. You think you can do a better job without me? Be my guest. They're a useless bunch of mongrels. You're welcome to them. Fuck off. I'll find you. What was her name? Marahaya or something like that. Why is Scratch going with her? Oh, if I see you around, oh my god, I'm gonna take you to a lonely place and I'm gonna kill you. You... you got rid of her. I'll do a better job looking after these dogs than she ever did. I promise. Well, that's good enough. I have speak with animals, don't I? Thank you for making Mistress go away. She was horrid. Okay. 
Wait, what about this one? You're letting me out? Letting me out? Not for communal use. Ah, oh, shit. But yeah, it's stealing. So, by the way, guys, I, 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 will, I will tell you probably. That thing that happens when you do that and scratch, uh, scratch goes away. Uh, I don't really know why that happens. I don't know if it's like an easter egg or, or he went and do something. Uh, but we're, we're getting back. So anyway, this is where Scratch used to work. Welcome to Sword Coast Couriers. To send and to serve. Delivery not guaranteed. Delivery not guaranteed. Uh, why the good mood? I'm alive and well, aren't I? Earning an honest living, serving my community. I've plenty to be happy about. Though, I will admit it's been tough recently. We've had to cut down our courier routes. Too risky with that army rampaging nearby. I'll tell you, it's left me in a right pickle. I've sent what I can by pigeon, but now something's attacking them and all. Become a postmaster, Danzo. It'll be easy. Nobody mentions having to spend your evenings hunting for pigeon carcasses, do they? Pigeon. Right, so this this check that we failed, it's uh, it's very difficult to get, apparently. I, I had to look it up and I almost find nothing. But in the end, it was, uh, it was a bunch of waste of time that I had because the, the only thing that you get if you if you pass the check it's that you get an option of persuasion uh, to get money up front for the mission basically so w don't worry about that it's no it's no use uh, I could find the pigeons for you my fees are very really reasonable well uh, if it's not too much trouble uh, I'd be much obliged any letters you find bring them back to me Unopened, of course, and there's some gold in it for you. Oh, uh, I think the letters that we picked up when we found Scratch. Uh, Gortash has been named Archduke. Time to pay Worms Rock a visit. So I think that would have been good. However, those must be long gone. We're gonna go to camp uh, in a moment, so we'll see if we still have some of that with the speed in there. Although the mission is marking me here, I don't understand why. We can read these things. Hmm, that's odd. I, aren't you gonna free the other dog, mate? Damn. I done nothing. Well, it is odd indeed. Let me see. So I also didn't get to to get these checks. This is pigeon remains. Not entirely sure. Uh, not entirely sure what to do with this. can move them I don't really know what what they do okay so I just went and check and um, <clears throat> see for the check because there was a check here that I failed as well and I, I didn't have that my notes but yeah this uh, this check here says that 
um, it's like it was like carried through to the temple or something like that. It's not very clear, but in any case, we're gonna. Oh man, I'm gonna hurt myself. In any case, we're gonna come back later for that. Right now, what I would like to do it's to uh, talk to this here i think it is yeah smith blacksmith because there is a trader here hi welcome to the rivington general uh, browse carefully the weapons are sharp hi or want a blade or a bow or a dagger or maybe a spear is more your thing? You look like you know how to use a spear. By spear. What'd you say? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Alright. This is the only thing I can say to her. Turn down your excitement, will you? You're giving me a headache. Sorry. Sorry. I just get so excited doing the best job ever. Customer service is your idea of the best job ever. Yeah, huh? I get to talk to people all day. I, I hate those jobs. I had a few. Rivington, Gildro Angleiron. Angle Iron. Do you know he's won best smith in Rivington seven years in a row? And and he says that if I move enough stock, I might even get to have a go on the anvil. Well, I don't know if the best smith. We know da uh, Damon, and he worked with Infernal Iron. Do uh, you want to be in a smith? I mean, I love what I do. Don't get me wrong. But actually doing something with my hands and all that fire. I'd give anything to do what he does. Oh, God. Don't tell him I said that, will you? I really love my job. Promise. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, what is this amazing boss of yours? Right up the stairs in his workshop. But I wouldn't bother him if I were you. He doesn't like to be disturbed when he's in the zone. In the zone. Is there anything I can help you with? Maybe a shiny, shiny new blade. Yeah, all right. Let's see what you got. So from here, there is a few things, as I told you, we want to be buying a lot of things. But one of the most important is this one. Bone Spike Garf. You gain 15 temporary hit points whenever you rage. So, uh, look at that. And reduce all incoming damage by 2. When the world is uh, struck by a melee attack, the attacker takes 1 piercing damage. So, we get um, the bonus for raging. And because of raging, we get another bonus, basically. This is pretty good. I'm gonna buy that. Look at the name. XV Cap. Now. Uh, well, we got arrows. Um, dragon slaying level. Those are always good. Fiend. Hmm... The Ambusher, this is good. Plus one bonus to initi uh, initiative rolls and advantage on perception ability checks. 1d6, it's, uh, it's pretty good. And, it, and it's finesse. Uh, we can buy that too. I like this kind of weapon, quite frankly, but we are not going to use it. <laughs> so we discard it for the time being. Uh, oh yeah, she has this. Stock gloves for the rogue. For the rogue of ours. Now. Do, 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 well. Nothing else I would say. Mm. Well, she's got this one, but the one. Uh, we got two shields that are better than this. So, I would say that's it. 2,600 
hundred. We're gonna we're gonna go up in gold real quick because remember I got a lot of rubbish in camp. Yeah, that's it. Want more? Want less? Wanna sell? Wanna buy? You know where I am. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> So where's the blacksmith? The upper level? Welcome adventurer. I take it you're new to Rivington. No doubt you came here to choose from my fine selection of weapons. Yes, I seem to have it all. Clubs, swords, maces, bows, cutting and gutting galore. Why don't we see if we can find the perfect weapon for you? Well, let's see. I don't know about this, quite frankly. How will you know my perfect weapon? I provide a personalized service for my customers to make sure the weapon I choose is the perfect fit. Tell me, how do you like to kill? How do you like to kill? Uh, slowly and painfully, quickly and efficient. I don't want anyone to suffer. Depends who I'm killing and how much they piss me off. It flows though uh, through me as raw inspiration. I never know what my next skill will look like. Oathbreaker though. I kill how I please and as I please my weapon answers to no one else. And Oathbreaker is hard as fuck. I see. Playing to your strengths. Keeping things simple. And when you kill someone, what do you feel? Powerful, untouchable, unstoppable. Deep sadness. I take no enjoyment in this. Well, Paladin. To kill in service of my oath is my duty. I'm proud to do it. <laughs> That's a lot of low sh uh, a little, A little bullshit, yeah. Killing holds no fear for you, does it? You understand what it takes and what it gives. One more question, if you'll humor me. Do you think you could turn your weapon on those closest to you? Well, we've killed innocents because of that courage. Remember, Althira, I still carry her loot in my back. Uh, we resisted Lacelle and Isabel, actually. And we never killed someone that I, uh, I care about. You deny yourself, but it won't last. It's in your blood. What? Oh, it's Orin. Fucking bitch. I see how you slip slither closer, belly dragging in the filth. Father is laughing at you. Weak and soft and broken. Oh, sweet sibling. The world has dulled you. Or maybe I poked your mind matter too sharply. Do not worry, So it's kin. or in the one that my blades are still sever my mind. Sweet. They will greet you soon enough. She clearly she clearly knows me. She's toying with me. What does she want? That is the right question. Oh look, it's the real blacksmith. Try attacking me when my back isn't turned, you bloody coward. What? No. Oh, she took my form, a doppelganger. Is that so? You've got some evil twin running around, whacking people round the back of the head. That, that, uh, that, Tell yeah, that now. basically is. You'll be seeing bloody double when I'm done with you. Hold on, lad. We have very good throws oh, now. I, I'm sure it were you. I'm almost certain. Ah, God's be damned, I don't know. I'd have sworn, but my head's pounding. I don't remember. I need a bloody drink. Go on, clear off. I've seen enough of your face today. 
200 XP. We get a lot of XP now. But yeah. Uh, can I talk to him? What do you want now? The trade, yeah. Go down to the bloody shop. I've got work to do. Ah. <laughs> well, okay. You want to trade, you go to the shop. Very well then. So here's when I would like to do a little something, so we're gonna do it right away. We need to bench, um, I would say a Starion because we need Karlak as well. Oh, letter from Arabella. The ink is still fresh and the letter is drawn in a careful hand. Hey, you. So, I owe you a lot. For one, I don't know what the inside of a snake belly looks like. For another, you let me stay at your camp. And for another, another, you found out what happened to moms and pops. Um, I'm on my own now and Bone Man says it's a good thing. I just have to let the weave guide me. So the magic she has. And as far as I can tell, it's tugging me to pull those gates. I, so I'm headed there first. Anyway, thanks for everything. I won't forget it. So she's gone. But she's coming here though. Huh. Oh, and look, the Jenna is here. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, before I interrupted myself again, I think a stallion needs to be benched because... It's not enough. We have a gallery of villains to look out for, but now we could be infiltrated by a shape changer. I can't even tell if any of you are acting strange because you've been replaced or because this group is full of weirdos. <laughs> oh, God. Uh. Yeah, stay here for a while. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. I... Guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while well, you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. Well, yeah. We need Will, but also we need Karlak, so Astarion needs to stay I out for a while. Great evils, been mocked by villains of all sorts. But Orin, she is beyond even Thorm. Her mind is twisted beyond recognition. What is she capable of? And where will she strike next? Um. I don't understand why with me. Ah, well, we're gonna get to this. That's the spirit. But we need Will to be around. <laughs> right. Defender of the people. So let's do this real quick. Remember, we're not going to be doing much of the builds. Maybe today we... No, no, no. I don't think we will. But the most recent respect we're going to do, I think, will be Karlak. Maybe next episode. She was a M MVP of Act 2. Uh... But yeah, we're gonna get to play a lot with the bills and and all of that. Mine's never quiet. But for the time being, oh, there's the cat here. And also, where are oh, there? Is scratch? Um, hi, it's me, Yena. Mm. You remember me, right? You were really nice to me before, and um. My mum hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? It isn't much of a home, but what's ours is yours. What? What the fuck? You think this is a fucking charitable case? Of course. Of course you can stay. <laughs> What could have happened to 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 her mom? I think I still have to speak with animals. With animals. I'm just a cat. P -p please talk to Yenna. Oh, okay. That's a bit suspicious. 
Why are you so scared? Why are you so nosy? So what? Is Yena mistreating you? What? Y Yena is my best friend. She's kind. H help her, not me. Oh well, that that's a bit odd. Do you know what happened to Jenna's mother? N nothing good, I don't think. She was so very sick. M maybe she made like a cat and went off to to spend a last life. What? P please don't. Guys, not to be a fanatic, but cats are evil. We all need to acknowledge that. But yeah, Scratch is over there. Let's see. He has a few things to say. It's certainly good to be back at camp. How I've missed the smells. Where did you go, though? All's where that ends well. Yeah, the tap says that a lot. I'm glad you're back where you belong. Indeed. And I'm sure Dringo will do a great job. He always took good care of me. Is that it? Oh, there is Withers. Have you nothing to say about the cat? This alien and Isabel. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One last thing before I forget. First of all... Uh, wait. I, I, I remind you again in case you skipped or maybe forgot. But this amulet, it's the one we found when we were looking for the Adamantine Forge in the Underdark. And when we found this, we had... A well, it, the, the amulet is attached to a ghost monk or something like that, and this is one of the missions that we got here that we picked up way back. And he wants to go to the to this temple we saw, and we don't know much about it, but it is true that if we get if we were to be wearing this amulet, we um we will have dialogues from him or something like that. We're gonna take this on for it and something else uh, I'm gonna send these things that we bought uh, well I'm gonna put them here in the camp just to not have so much rubbish worry not because everything I will sell off camera so you don't have to to worry about it Put it there in the in the chest, and this obviously goes to Carlac. Come on, let's go. And the, the the thing is, we're gonna lose the the bonus here, but I think it is way better because we we get the buff when entering the frenzy, and because of getting in the frenzy, we get another buff. So does that it looks good? And we're gonna do a respect for her. We're gonna turn her into an actual berserk. The throwing the throwing spear was good and all. But at this point it's gonna start to get weaker and weaker, so there's that for the future. And with that being said, let's continue. The loading screens might be longer now. The city is kind of like that. And consider that I'm playing on console. In PS5. It's not as good as an experience as it would be... Uh, for people with PC, I think. But nonetheless. So. As I said. We had the... The mission there with the couriers we were given. We have this thing at the temple. Let's go and see about that. Open hand temple. That is the temple that the the spirit talked about. In case you don't remember. What's going on here? Look, investigator. Brilgor might have been a criminal, but he was no murderer. 
You're missing something. You have to be. Enough, Yanis. Listen to yourself. Motherfuck. You are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgore killed Father Lorcan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yanis. Shitey little elephant. Oh. Oh, um, I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of ill nature. Well, the verdict is indeed a bit fishy. So we'll see what we can do about that. Sounds like a lot of bollocks anyway. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. But the investigator is being particularly challenging right now. Two people just died on temple grounds. A high priest, Father Logan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgore. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgore. The politically convenient target. You doubt her verdict. I will investigate, see where the true blame falls. Feel free to look around the temple. But fair warning. The investigator won't change her mind without significant new evidence. Where can I find the investigator? Charessa's caress would be my best bet. That's a usual haunt after the so, in a case. That's the brothel, basically. Uh, I think it's a brothel the way everyone speaks about. Uh, any idea what I should be looking for? Valeria never found the murder weapon, so that could be a start. Anything disproving the refugee murder suicide angle, really. Very well. Um, can you tell me where to find Shira Clorwen? I can tell you where to find her, but she won't be very chatty, I'm afraid. Shira passed away last year. Peacefully, mine. We buried her in the crypt under the temple, if you wish to visit. Very well. I really hope you find something. For all our sakes. Right, so we also got that going now. And we obvi obviously will get to it. However... What I was thinking is that we need to get into the the other area of the city over there. If you guys remember uh, at the beginning of the area, it was mentioned about the steel watch. That is a steel watch. And also wanted to mention that I never did any any exploration regarding this place. Which is playable. Oh. It seems like I my camera just went over there. But if you if you realize up there in the mountain there is also places to go. So we might do all of that really. We want to do everything as possible. But as I said, we need to get going over there. And don't worry though, because we will go back and forth, we'll go we'll do everything. But you'll see why. I, I do think it's better if if we could if we do this first apologies halt by orders of lord gortash refugees are no longer allowed in the city turn around okay uh, i have urgent business in the city well, do you have the means to support yourself hundred my good lady i am will ravenguard i will not pay to enter my own city ravenguard Ugh, more like the ghastliest tiefling south of neverwinter no refugees oh it is true because he said he's a devil now uh, i can take care of myself 200 right. Article 30.1.5 I'm not a bureaucrat. On extraordinary wartime measures. I am confiscating that. The city thanks you for your contribution. Your name? I can't give her a different name. No. We already paid. Well met, citizen. 
Your parasite stares. From the construct, you feel connection. Ah. Resonance. Th that's odd. Can I go now? Not just yet. State your business. Oh, well, we got lots of charisma. What? I thought you couldn't add on a one. Uh huh. Eyes open. I never realized. Oh, okay, they're gonna make me a picture. Do as she says. Behind the watcher's gaze, a presence awakens. You are seen. You are known. Whoa. My engine, it's almost... I don't know... Buzzing. Like it's paying attention. Might be infernal machinery. Transgressions are reflected in its stare. As witnessed by the cult's ever alert scrying eyes. It has heard the howls of slaughtered goblins. It knows the cold walls of Moonrise Towers. And the cultists who fell there. The Watcher speaks directly into your mind with a voice like poisoned honey. You are marked for special treatment. Not simply an enemy of the oh. people. But an enemy of the absolute. Come quietly. Or die. Consent to as Well, if you do this, you end up in jail. And it's just uh, like a massive amount of time. So... Ready yourself for a fight. I did fire all of these guys. Please comply now, citizen. I will interpret any further hesitation as resistance. Eat this, you oh, look at that. Yeah, I don't trust nothing that it's uh, ChatGPT generated. So now they are blinded and the robots, it's uh, broken. And we managed to get through here. And we get the waypoint. So yeah, guys. If you ever see an automata like that in real life, uh, you have to do the same thing. Remember, we cannot trust AI. But anyway. Guys. Look at this. We are into... Um, Worms Cross now. This... This here is the brothel. Don't worry, we can go in there. We won't just yet. Dude, just a little attention here to everything that's going on. It's a lot. I'm sure you probably cannot even hear me. This is a city. Fucking Ubisoft and AI should be taking notes. It depends on the men, women, children all barred from entry. A damn travesty. A decade ago, Baldur's Gate would have welcomed any and everyone seeking refuge. Who would take in these souls, if not the jewel of Baldurin? What a shame Baldur's Gate has a responsibility to people in need. As long as Gortash is in charge, they'll be left shivering at the gates. All part of the plan, of course. Step one, create an army and order it to march on the city. Step two, shut the gates in the name of security. Right. Step three, bask in the applause. Gortash hasn't made Baldur's Gate safe. He's made it a prison. And when his army breaks through, the people will have nowhere to run. To make this city a safe haven, we'll need to bathe Gortash and his allies in their own blood. So that was the plan, uh, the initial plan. Uh, that even without Thorm, they still went on to it. Mm. 
Why Misora help you say ball to skate? She came on orders of her mistress, Zariel. She never stops. Does she? Not for a second. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. I did talk that about this. That was the this. most Mizora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. Uh, sure, Misora doesn't care about Baldur's game. Why would she want to save it? She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, right. Zaria. She never stops. Tiamat made a play. Well, this is the same thing I talked war. about way back about Tiamat, the dragon that is worship. Dantalan's dancing axe, the Harper safe house Jahira mentioned. See, everything's coming together, and I really hope you've been watching the series and you can you you can pick up you could have picked up a few things. I would have advised I didn't think of this. I would have advised taking notes because a lot of things from way back are going to start making sense and to unravel. Basically, everything that I did not give any closure here will have it. But in any case, as, as I said, we got the brothel, which is actually important. We got the Harper's place over there. But we do want to get going here. Don't worry, because we will go back to Rivington and everything. Another earthquake. Oh... Very well, so that is because we, ho uh, we have the nether stone, I believe. You need three of them to control it. Sorry, chum, can't let you through. Worms rocks closed for the day. Huh. Not closed to Duke Older Ravenguard's own son, surely. You having a laugh, devil boy? Oh, no, Raven Guard. And last I knew, his spawn wasn't sporting those horns. It's the hat. The joke's on you. No entry. That's the end of it. Uh. An assassin is in pursuit of Dake, uh, Duke Raven Guard. I need to warn him. It's so crazy. Oh, it's a 30. It's so crazy uh, doing this with charisma. I remember having to um, parkour my way through here. Uh, surely we can get this, right? Yeah. Having to parkour my way around it. That you can do, by the way. Hells. First Stelmane and now this. Hurry up then. Last door on the right. But with this much charisma, it's, <laughs> it's pretty cool. So yeah, here you can you can just go around in case you want to know. Very well. Oh yeah, I always I always had a thing with this step. I don't know why. I don't know if anyone else had it. It's like I couldn't pass. But this is worm uh, worm's rock, and this is where we will find Gortash. What? <laughs> oh, it's the butler. What do you want now? Naughty, naughty, naughty little master. You have disobeyed your father's wishes one time too many. For she who fights with monsters oh. should look to it that she herself becomes a monster. When you gaze long into the abyss, the abyss also gazes into you. And Orin. other will embrace what you have rejected. And that other will be your death. But your father loves you dearly. You will yourself yet. 
Slaughter your line. Become the last of your name. Lord Baal shall have but one chosen. Whoa. Memories so back snatches of your story written in the blood of a thousand victims years spent in worship of Baal leading his savage congregation in prayer sacrifice and slaughter. leading you were their master and he was yours a cruel master a dread lord a devoted father all is as you feared you are a spawn of Baal, his heir, his scion. Well, we know that, right? The character doesn't completely know. Yeah, okay, so a few things from there. Uh, first of all, Odin is also a, a spawn of Baal, obviously. Um, however, what we get out of this is that even when she's there to to um to be the champion to be the chosen of Baal it would seem they was they still want me they still want us to be the chosen for some reason we don't know yet um what else the the creature in which she transformed if you have if you don't know about the previous games or you haven't played it's the it's the form that ball takes when um when wanting to kill when working basically right uh, so yeah that's uh, that's pretty interesting we're gonna get to see a lot of those uh, little things today um oh and to mention as well just so you know you can choose as as it says here surrender to the urge perhaps it is time to embrace your heritage the game does not give you shit guys you can do whatever the fuck you want you can become a mind flayer and and help the empire you know you can you can be a dark urge right now become the chosen of Baal and be the bad guy right now even if, if you didn't start as a bad guy you can do anything you want obviously we are going to keep fighting the urge so recall that there was another the woman who became the slayer we know her but obviously the character does not yet know her entirely you are not the last of your name not yet there is another the abomination wrapped in flesh you saw in the colony Orin. it's time for a family reunion but be wary of your confessors. Will friend turn to foe, knowing what you are? That's the thing, because halt. Members can we leave do party. Not know how you gained entry, but your trespass shall not be punished. Lord Gortash has been expecting you. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place, confident, dominant. Commanding. Greetings, old friend. That's Gortus. Orin told me you were on your way here, but I scarcely believed it. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate. Welcome home. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. Very well. So that was Gortus. We shouldn't have any more trouble from the guards. Hopefully, based right. We got the waypoint. This waypoint is important so we can just start TPing back and forth. Oh, look at that. Sora. If it isn't little Will, straight to your handler. And I didn't even have to whistle. Oh, Zora, fuck off. I've had enough. You owe your life to me. Time to end the pact. Feeling cheeky, are we? Most unbecoming. Heard about your father. The absolute's puppet. A damned travesty, if you ask me. 
He's upstairs in Worms Rock, ordaining Gortash as Archduke. A splendid oh, he's here. We're gonna see him. Here. Perfect for crashing. Go on up. We'll talk after. Damn. What is she doing here, though? So, maybe a few things to mention. It's the fact that Gortash is right here. And if you want, you can kill him right now. Just so you know, you have to deal with all of this. And I think we can. I think I can. We are strong enough for that. Uh, maybe not because we brought Will and his build is a bit wacky at the moment. Uh... But yeah, just so you know. And Carla, Carla can go crazy and end up in jail. That's that is just yet another um, big reducer of time. But you'll see what happens. This is gonna be interesting. Kinspeople, Baldorians, friends, thank you for joining me on this exceptional day. It's him, Gortash. This is it. I can practically taste his blood from here. My father's here, Karlak. Cool your fires. He must not come to harm. Yeah, precisely. Very well. Uh, no. Yeah, careful, Karlak. We can't risk a confrontation here. The rolls now are crazy. So we bide our time. But make no mistake, that monkey is mine. <laughs> A moment, please, my friends. There's All Will's the father. Has come to pay their respects. What? My respects? You're lucky I've agreed not to shove my boot up your... My favorite assassin. I'm so glad you've returned to my side. Hang on. What? You know each other. What, me? We have important matters to address. My reunion with Karlak can wait. What? What business have you with me? So I know him? Oh, that is... It's really fucking good, not gonna lie. Oh, I've forgotten. Your memories are quite lost, aren't they? Orin told me she'd made a fool of you. So to Orin you took my memory. All this time and she hadn't the faintest you were one of my nearest and dearest. What? Let me clear up some mysteries then. It's about time, I think. You and I initiated this plot. We discussed in depth the what failures the of our predecessors and how to avoid them. We understood that if we were to unite, no one could stand in the way of the Dead Three. So, unite we did. First, we obtained the crown. Then we enslaved the brain. From there, it was but a small step to the most successful religious hoax ever perpetrated. I'm fucking tripping. <sighs> uh, ask the Emperor, is he telling the truth? It seems so. In Baal's name, you set your bloody daggers to cause panic in the streets. Killing in the absolute oh. name. You would have carried out that part of the plan had Orin not ruined your hard work. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Catherick Thor. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them. All out of fear of the Absolute. The faithful will do anything in the name of their god. It was all going oh, so well. Well, this is dangerous now. Vanished. Orin informed us that henceforth she would speak for the Temple of Baal. 
and act on their behalf. But she... She made a mess of things. Unlike you, she cannot control herself. Hang on. What the fuck is going on here? Yeah, this is dangerous because... Uh, as I said, peop uh, your companions can leave party. Whoa. You're mistaken if you think I can control myself. I'll make her pay. The plan sounds brilliant. You misread me, I've come to end this evil plot. Have you gone soft? I find that hard to believe. One's true nature always rises to the top. When Kethrick fell, I feared the worst. That our plans would fail like so many before, because of discord among ourselves. Uh, now you've returned, we can achieve all of our dreams still. You brought Thorm's Netherstone. You know, it takes all three to control the brain. Right. Without Thorm's, it's become vexingly willful. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the Sword Coast's infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well, a bleak prospect. But it's a fate that can be avoided if you and I renew our old partnership. Together, we can still restore authority over the brain. Well, we are obviously not doing that. I don't know if we have the choice to uh, do the infiltrate thing. Now we did with the absolute. <clears throat> but have you know that you do need to. Uh, Uh, you, do need, you do need to uh, not be so aggressive here because that way we can roam the city whatever, uh, however we want and the steel watch won't be a problem. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proves treacherous. She wants the Netherstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. Well, we've talked about this before. Usually when the dead three, uh, whenever they plot and whatnot, it will always end on treason, betrayal. What are you getting at? Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know, she's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. So I turn to you, the former ruler of the cult. Ruler? Of the fuck? What do you propose? Let's make our pact anew. A divine oath, sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. So the three are united once again. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. And my father? The urge, the deplorably brutal urge sickens within you. Oh. When you level the world over, that dead world must be yours alone. But first you will rule. Then you will ruin. What do you say? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. Oh. 
This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. Hmm. Let's be allies, said the viper to the frog. Right. Uh, my solemn oath, I will defeat Orin. Well, if you do any of this inside of the tech thoughts, it, it does show that um, you cannot find at least any kind of lies when it comes to the pact. But I think we'll do this one. I think about it, no promises. Because that way we can remain um, not uh, being molested by the Steel Watch. Perhaps a demonstration of why you need my help will motivate you to make the right decision. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. An imposter? But who in the hells? The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly. Or any so Orin is infiltrated in my camp. That is fucked up. How am I supposed to find Orin if she can change her form so easily? Even horror has a home. Find her nest and slay her there. The Baal Temple, your old haunt, now reeks of her icors. The Baal Temple. Do you even remember how to find it? Ah, well, I don't know. No. A shame. It's a secret even to me. You're resourceful. I trust you'll sniff it out. If the trail goes cold, follow the bodies. Um. Well, yeah, let's do it. Before you do, come and witness as I make history as the first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Right, let's get over with it. You will follow me, and you will show due respect. I gotta play a little bit, the I guess. Dukes, patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard. It's got I my control, the Duke. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash. Swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same by word, deed, and decree so that none may suffer? I swear. Gathered guests, grant ye consent. Ah, well. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty-handed. Right, so he wants us to give him the... the stone. Obviously. Very well. Look at all the... the robots. So there you have it. Lord Enver Gortash, in all his glory. What did you make of him? Frankly, I'm, I'm impressed he's uh, worn his way into the most powerful position in Baldur's Gate. Can't wait to flatten him. Hmm. Not if I get to him first. How could all these people cheer for him like that? Can't they see what a chance he is? Hmm. When people are scared, they'll do whatever it takes to feel safe. And they expect 
these big metal monsters to tuck them in at night while the absolute knocks on the gates. If only they knew the truth. The Dead Three orchestrated all of this. And it's working. I wish this city, the people running it, were smarter than me. Gortash isn't their salvation. He's the monster at the gate. Also, I planned the whole thing originally, it seems. That is a lot of things about the Dark Curse we're finding out. Hopefully, uh, we get to know more. What did I tell you? A momentous occasion. I'm sure you agree. I've had enough, Mizora. What do you want? Your attention, little pup. Nothing more. Fucking hell. And you'll be glad to give it. You see, Gortash has had your father... Already? Relocated. He moved him? To the slaughter. The way I hear it. Shit. Your dad's good as dead, pup. And to think there's no way to save him. Or is there? You know something. I know enough. I'll be in your camp if you want to work something out. Oh, another deal. <sighs> Bollocks. Of course she'd stick her infernal nose where it doesn't belong. Of course she's dreamt up some risible scheme. By all the hounds of the hells, what is she planning? Uh, well, your, your father is involved, which means it's worth hitting her out. Well, Gors are staking your father, do you think? I couldn't even fathom a guess. Though, I doubt we'll need to wait long for answers. Let's make camp when we're able. Mazora will be waiting. Until then, may my father keep safe. Whatever coop he's been flown to. Oh, we can confess by now? Oh, that, that I will have to, to check. We really don't want anyone to part, uh, but we do want to tell this. Because there's nothing to tell. She died when I was born. As a boy, my bond with father was too deep to miss the mother I never had. Now, well, I'd be lying if I said I'd never thought about my mother. What life would have been like if she'd lived? Maybe I'd be living in the city. Maybe I'd never have been forced into this cursed pact. But there's no use lingering on maybes. My mind is on the stories of today and tomorrow, not those of yesterday. Ah, well, very well. So there you have it, lads. Everything is panning out. And more importantly, we're getting some insight in everything that it's got to do with the Dark Curse. Now we had the mission of uh, interfering Gortosh. However, we did all of this and we are going back to Rivington as I told you. And I wanted to do all of that first because now we got uh, more context and... And a little info that we need at least to not be so lost. Uh, when it comes to that. So. What have we got going here? The temple. The pigeons. The murder. And I'm telling you. We're going to have a lot to do. And a lot to read. And a lot to see. So. We're going to leave it here. I really hope you enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching. That's. I'll be here tomorrow. Every day. Until we finish the series. One video daily. Bye-bye.